Good morning, so I'm back today vlogging again today. Uh, outfit of the day is just a white dress, pink cardigan, necklace, wow. ring. I'm vlogging! And I think. And it's Mum's birthday! Where is she? She's, oh, she's there in the darkness in her dark t shirt. So we're at John Lewis having breakfast now. That's my breakfast. We've got Luscombe Raspberry Crush. Mum's got tea. they done to you, darling. <laughs> Poor little bugger. I don't know what he's doing. Someone else is dressed up to come and see you too. Who? Oh, yes, I saw that. I don't like you there. You're making me fancy ice cream. But otherwise That's you're a okay. cake. No, they're colouring. Oh. So basically, we've got Benji Elf out from Elf on the Shelf at Christmas, but Poppy's got Mum the Birthday tradition one, so he's dressed up as a little cupcake. And we've also got Mint Chop Chip, one of my build bears here. She's all dressed up today. She's even got her heels on so that she can actually reach the table. And she's got a little cupcake on her with Mother's Emma Bridgewater mug. So yeah, very Chris Christmassy, birthday -y. Meeting here. Just need mum. Come on, mum. Read us a story. Really? Go on. Is there a shindig, a social soiree, a big bash, a party for your special day? Will there be streamers, family, and fun? Perhaps I could go. Would you like me to come? Yes, we would. Santa loves birthdays with all their tradition. I know he would give me exclusive permission. I think he should be sat with you. To come to your. Winding your hullabaloo, he probably wishes that he could come too. First, you should make me an elf invitation, then lay out my clothes for your big celebration. Santa will nod and give me a grin because he'll be sure you want me to attend. I'll see his eyes gleam with a hint of a twinkle. He'll out, he'll stretch out his palm, and elf dust will sprinkle. Like Christmas magic, it floats through the air. This dust is for birthdays, he'll whisper with care. He'll tell me to hurry and join in the fun for 24 hours since work must be done. I'll leap up to thank him, then bolt through the door. In less than a minute, I'll magically soar. With a swiftness reserved for elves half my age, I'll be back at your home as you take centre stage. Together we'll honour a year that has passed and make some new memories. Ones that will last. Oh, there you go. Come out with us. I won't have a token, a present or prize, since that could be tough given my tiny size. But I have an idea I'd like to propose. A North Pole tradition. And here's how it goes. I'll spring into action and pick out a chair to trim like a tree with my own special flair. I'll decorate with treasures and fabulous finds and make use of trinkets of all different kinds. Perhaps I'll be sensible, careful and wise to choose things you need for my special surprise. I could also be silly and go for a laugh by making a scene with your fuzzy giraffe. 
We don't have a fuzzy draft, Benji. I might be crafty with ribbons and bows or use crayons and pencils on signs I compose. How about balloons? Fill with candy to eat. No. First you must pop them, then get your treat. With a last stash of whimsy thrown in for good measure, your chair is now ready for your birthday pleasure. Before our eyes meet and I make my debut, there's one final thing that I really must do. I'll dress in my costume and hide in a place where I can first spy the big smile on your face. Our game will begin when you dash out of bed. You'll see what I've done while you rested your head. Your big day's just starting. There's much more in store, like presents and singing and wishes galore. And your, your cake will have candles all glowing, no doubt. We'll hear a big whoosh as you blow them all out. While you celebrate, I'll be beaming with pride from a shelf or a frame or wherever I hide. Finally our day will come to an end. I'll fly back to Santa and with my old friends we'll cheer and we'll shout hip hip hooray and we will all wish you a happy birthday. Oh. We weren't given enough pre-warning this year were we Benji? But hey, we all got together, didn't we, Mint Chop Chip? Your birthday surprise was them two with your tea. Thank you. So, I just picked up Poppy from the station. By picked up, I mean I met her halfway up the road because my Fitbit steps were low. Because I'm now on 6,909. Um, put my ring on that Poppy got me. Got my necklace on. Got the bracelet on that Poppy and my brother got me. There we go. Um, what else? That's about it. I know, I'm on one minute first. <laughs> <laughs> It went to Lower Stoff and came back with a message that said, Hi, thanks for the box. Will I see it again next year? Happy birthday. And I was already thinking it then before I'd opened it. So September 2016, it came back to Wembley. And August 2017, I sent it to Lower Stoff. And lo and behold, September 2017, it's back at Wembley. <laughs>
together. So here is what Mother got from these. Uh, this is bee friendly. Look, they go perfect for pollinators. This one's bee friendly too. This one doesn't say it's bee friendly, so it's the odd one out. We were struggling to find something today, actually. What, that was bee friendly? No. So we're on the way to go and have dinner now. And the way this vlog is lit is via Puppy's phone screen and via my phone screen. This is what happens when you're vlogging in the dark. You have to compensate. No lighting, I must admit, apart from it reflects on my glasses. <laughs> and where are we going, Puppy? Uh, we're going to the harvest. Are you good for that? You're allowed to be in the vlog. We're currently on the salad bowl yeah. so depending and they no longer do bottomless drinks so we've got also if you did that, it'd be a possibility that I'll possibly meet you in London and not stop the night. No, you didn't. I don't have enough cameras, but I'm going to put it in, hold it in. Oh, okay. 